Good evening, teacher. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hi, how are Hi. you? Fine, and you? I'm fine, thank you. How was your day today? Very hot. How was your day? Yes, yes. It's, uh, very hot. But uh, the forecast, uh, the, 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 uh, tomorrow, it, it will be um, uh, a cold, I think. Really? I hope so. Um, United States is in trouble in this moment, right? Texas has a blizzard. Yes. <laughs> and um, it's very cold <laughs> in the United States in this moment. Yes, in this moment, it's a, in, in some states, it's a danger because uh, without electricity, it's very, very hard for the cold. Yes, it's true. In Houston, uh, call me some friends. Uh, so it's uh, very difficult because uh, the, without electricity, is um, uh, the, the, there are many problems about the, the 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 about the food in the supermarkets. It's very difficult too. It's true. And how many days that they haven't had um, electricity? It's in the four, uh, this is a four day, I think. Four days. Four days with no electricity. Yes, yes. In some, in some areas, it's um, in Houston. Wow. So what are the supermarkets doing? Are they giving away the food? Yes, because uh, without uh, without the uh, electricity, uh, I, I some uh, some uh, food is uh, very to me. Uh, um, it's, going to, in the, it's going to go bad. The, the food is going to go bad. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's so sad. But this is in Each each years is a, a worse. The the weather is worse each years in the United States. Yes. And the problem is that in Texas, they don't know what hot is. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> yes. Okay. What's up, Inmar? How are you? Hi, teacher. Good, thank you. How about you? I'm all right. How was your day today? Good, good. Thank you. All right. Ingrid, what are you drinking? And Joyce. With um, salad, no, parsley, cucumber, honey, a green apple, spinach. That is really nice. It's spinach. really delicious. <laughs> no spinach. sugar? Spinach. Yes. No, honey and lemon. Okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> What's up, Gio? <laughs> you don't look very convinced. <laughs> I mean, I like everything you said, but I never had it mixed. I like cucumber. I like celery. I like options to dinner. Oh, oh, so that's your dinner. So you're not going to eat anything solid. That's your dinner? Yeah. Uh, every night I have dinner with this juice. Oh, okay, good. How was your day today, uh, Gio? Um, work fully. <laughs> what? Work fully, I, I don't know, a lot of work. Okay, it was very productive. Yeah, yeah, it was very productive, yes. All right, Nelson? Hello, good evening. How are you, Nelson? Thank you, Joe, thank you. All right. Hey, the vaccines came today, right? Yeah. It's uh, a lot of <laughs> tweets and oh, man. everything, man, <laughs> that's crazy. 
Yeah, they, finally they come. Oh, they're co we're the last country. We're this. We're Man, that. people are, cr are crazy. They're angry because there is no vaccine. And now angry because the vaccine. They we... took so long. Yeah. <laughs> and others are angry because it's a propaganda. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, if you have the chance, are you going to get the, the vaccine? Yeah. Yeah. Me, why not? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, I have put worse things in my body, you know? Yeah. I, 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 don't, <laughs> I don't think the vaccine will affect anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. We have Michelle and we have Ruth. Where's Rosa Benna? Strange when she's not here. You know, today I saw this. Um, man, I was very angry. I was driving by Monsignor Romero, and um, I was driving in the Monsignor Romero, and um, this stupid man in a motorcycle with his wife and a little girl, I think, in the middle. But he was going fast, like cutting everybody. He cut me, boom, boom, boom. And later when I passed, I saw him and they fell. Um, I don't know, I get very, very angry because it's okay. Your life is no problem, but you have your wife and your and your girl. That's not. That's not. There's no excuse. So I, I was reading the news to see what happened, but I, I maybe I hope I hope it does, it didn't get any bad from there, any worse. Hold on. I remember remember that that boy or that man that he was floating with his daughter in the Mexico River. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah um, you know, many people said, oh man, the life in El Salvador is so terrible. I, I was thinking differently. I was thinking that was a very stupid man. And, you know, many people say, oh, you're crazy, but no, man. I have a son. I will never, ever put my son in that risk. I will never risk my son's life. You know, I, maybe, okay, I want a better life. I will risk my life for my son, but I'm not going to risk his life. Like this man, he took a decision for his daughter. It was not correct. So I remember that today because, oh, man. And the woman, too. What a stupid woman, like, hey, hey, calm down. Your daughter's in the car, in the motorcycle, you know? Yeah. But now, what is he done here, man? I, I don't know. One time I hit, I hit um, a Pollo Campero driver. But I was very angry because I told him, you are a stupid idiot. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I remember I wasn't, you know that, what's the name of that airport? Ilopango Airport. Mm -hmm. You know that bridge? Yeah. When, when you pass in the bottom? Yeah. I was in the last lane. So next to me was the wall. So, okay, I was trying. And suddenly he appeared in that side, in the motorcycle. What the fuck? What the hell? Boom. And then I hit him. And he he rolled. And yes, my reaction was, oh my God. You know, I got off and like, are you okay? Pero, and then I look at the situation and well, you are an idiot. How could you do that? And, and he was angry and he, he told me if I was going to pay him. He wanted me to pay him. Oh man. I always want hmm? 
they they always want to that you pay for yes. a little. Yeah, but he asked the wrong person. <laughs> yes. Poor people. Um, my neighbor, but this is the problem. My neighbor, he sells motorcycles. He works in a store where they sell motorcycles. And he tells me, look, we don't ask for anything. We don't ask if they have a license. We just sell it. We just care about the credit. He's telling me, right? And he says... And you know, it's sad because I've seen many people when they, okay, uh, Mr. Victor, your credit is accepted. Come and get your motorcycle. And he tells me that many kids go and then they get on the motorcycle and, and they try like to remember, como es? Boom, boom. And my friend tells me that he asked them, can you ride a motorcycle? And their answer was like, yeah, de volada, so ya aprendí un poco, you know? <laughs> De Santa Tecla to San Vicente. He was going to go from Santa Tecla to San Vicente on a motorcycle where he doesn't really know how to ride and he doesn't know the traffic laws. So imagine how many how many victors are in a, in San Salvador like that driving. It's terrible. I am afraid of motorcycle drivers uh, riders. Hey, and there's a lot of girls now in motorcycles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some look hot. Nice. <laughs> they look nice. Oh, there's Rosa. Yes, I am here. Hi, Rosa. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm okay. Do you like the like Beach Boys? Yes, I like it. I imagine you do. Good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I was listening to the Beach Boys all day today. Oh, really? So I have the Beach Boys in my hand, yeah. It I was cool. Hear them. I, I actually, I saw them in concert. Oh, really? Yeah, for free. Mm, nice. They were, they were at the beach. Oh, of they course. Were, yeah, they were in, they were in Mahawal. No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. You know, musically speaking, like people say, England has the Rolling Stones and Pink Floyd and et cetera. But United States, they have Bruce Springsteen and the Beach Boys. Because the Beach Boys are really good. And it's not okay. Salvador, I'm sorry? In the suburb, La Chanchona, right? But you know La Chanchona, they're good. I like them. I yeah, like good the, I do I'll, cumbion, right? Yeah, I like. I saw them one time in a pueblo party. Man, they're good. Yeah. You know, like the sounds. They're raining. Yeah. Yeah, they're funny though. But it was, it was cool. Michelle, are you? Hi, teacher. I <laughs> are you cold? Uh, I always uh, wear hats. <laughs> okay. Oh. It keeps my head warm. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. It's hot. <laughs> well, it depends. Where do you live? Lourdes. Okay. I understand yes. Jordana, maybe, because where she lives. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But hmm. sometimes it gets cold in here. Really? Oh, okay. Here, where's my screen? Oh, there it is. Okay, class, do you see my screen? Yes. yes. Of course. Complete each sentence. Almost finished, right? Yeah, we're almost done. Yeah. Because remember, tomorrow tomorrow we have a pizza party. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. With beer. Yeah, tomorrow we can, yeah, we should get drunk tomorrow virtually. <laughs> we can eat virtual pizza and virtual beer. <laughs> Why? Well, I'm not a beer that person. I prefer. Sounds beer. good. Sounds good. Yeah, that's true. And you know what? Because it's virtual, I will pay. <laughs> oh, yeah. With bitcoins. <laughs> With bitcoins. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it says instructions read the sentences, then complete the sentences with the following words. 
just add the word in, no need of capital letters or periods. Cost of living, green spaces, nightlife, climate, shopping, transportation system. My city has great blank. You can buy anything you want. Shopping. Shopping. Oh, we did this yesterday, I think. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was yes. the next yeah. one that we have to do. Sorry about that. Yeah, we did this. I see. Okay. I think we finished here. Okay, this reading we did not do. Where's Jaime before he tells me that he mm -hmm. hasn't done them? Jaime, are you here? No, he's not here yet. Okay, let's do this reading. It says instructions. Read the travel brochure, then check true or false for each statement. Welcome to Chiang Mai, Thailand's second largest city. Here you can explore ancient temples, colorful markets, and historic architecture. Chiang, Chiang Mai has the charm of an old mountain town with all the conveniences of a modern cultural center. There is great nightlife and hotels for every budget. Chiang Mai, which is located on the Ping River and near the mountains, is also a wonderful place for an outdoor adventure. You can trek through the mountains. You'll see a, a breathtaking scenery and interact with local hill tribe people. Or you can go on tour in the area's Mount King waterfalls, not far outside the city. Do you understand breathtaking? Yes, it's like it's something it takes your breath. Like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. Take my breath away. Dun, dun, dun. Yes, breathtaking is like. Oh, it's asthma. <laughs> Someday I will go to the Lover uh, Museum and I will be breathtaking. Like, yeah, someday I will visit Van Gogh's house and I will be, oh my God. Think in the song. I'm sorry? Think in the song. Yes. The, the Van Gogh. <laughs> no, no, not, not, not the band. The Van Gogh. Oh, no, Van Gogh. Oh. The painter. Ah, okay. Vincent. Vincent Van Gogh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, all that is like breathtaking. Yes? Yeah. yeah. You know, or like when people see Ricardo Velasquez Parker, like all the women. Según <laughs> él, <laughs> El incomparable. No, nada que ver. Lo siento. <laughs> Ese me salió en español. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. According to him, he is breathtaking. Yeah. yeah. Because, you know, he's an influencer, he's a poet, <laughs> coach, philosopher, yes, martial <laughs> artist. <laughs> he's the perfect catch for any lady. Come on, Ingrid, I think he's single. No, 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 I don't he's like it. No. He's a singer, he's a great singer. No, he's a rover. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I like a decent man. But have you seen his propaganda? El incomparable. Like, really, yeah. dude? That, that's your... No. I remember that spot, like a telenovela. Teacher, I think it's yes, incomparable. Sure. <laughs> right. We're in a habit. It's like, really, El incomparable? That would be your 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 theme for the... I don't know, like, hey, I don't know, tu amigo, or whatever, but... Well, Amigo, oh yeah, and the funny part. <laughs> the, the, like, like, remember Milena, tu amiga. Milena was tu yeah, amiga Milena. I remember that. 
<laughs> yeah, that wasn't Perfect. very good, you know. Cuando me cobre, cobrele mi amiga Lena, eh, Milena. Um, like an episode of Rosa de Guadalupe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. And I, I, maybe you do that. Maybe you like that, Gio, the marketing. Because um, mm. sometimes I like to look at, at the... Um, at the idea of the picture, you know, like, like yeah. for example, I've noticed that uh, that was on the mayor of Santa Tecla. He's not yeah. using any anything related to yeah. arena. Yeah, he, he's using green he and colors and yeah. his face. And maybe may, I think I think he might win. Maybe he will win. But um, like that. What's funny is Beltran Bonilla because. But Gran Bonilla is maybe like my father, you know, they're very, very old school. Yeah. And his picture is funny because he's... With the, yeah. You know, so the person that took the picture is like, by a possible, you know, like... Mm. <laughs> Man, people say that. He, people didn't know he's <laughs> wishing <laughs> you, hit you. <laughs> yeah, he, yes. you. he looks like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Wow. I, Thank you. Oh, you know, honey, I don't, I, I don't know if he still exists. Remember Boner? Boner. <laughs> there yeah, is yeah, a I congressman. Remember. His name is Boner. Boner, yes, <laughs> Remember, I think he's from Arena, right? Yeah. Yeah. Boner. Plus, I'm sorry. Do you know what Boner is? If you ever hear it. No, no, I do not. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this might sound a little vulgar, but boner is a male erection. A boner? Yes. It's an erection. I'm going to look that. <laughs> hey, but, uh, but one thing, remember, it's informal. I mean, informal. the formal is, oh, I yeah. have an erection. Yeah. But some people, oh, man, she gave me a boner. <laughs> so it was funny because I have a lot of friends, foreigners that speak English, and, and everybody put, "Hey, have you seen Boner? <laughs> That's his name, really, Boner." And I'm thinking, I know that in Arena there are people that speak English, you know, and say, "Hey, Boner, vení, no tenés otro nombre, like <laughs> Boner Alexander <laughs> or algo." Why? I can't, you know. <laughs> For political, you're an erection man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, erection, come on here. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah like. <laughs> Bonner, do you have another name like, or como Alejandro, you know, Javier, Bonner, Javier? Yeah. Why? Use that name. <laughs> yeah. It's better. Yes, why? Because then Jose or, or Antonio. <laughs> sí, man. Or, or Guadalupe, whatever. Guadalupe, you know, Boner Guadalupe, whatever. But Bonete Guadalupe, you know, don't put Boner. I can imagine when he travels to the United States in the airport, when they check his, okay, uh, Boner, <laughs> here's your passport. I, I imagine they laugh. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, so you can go to Mankind's Waterfalls. Okay, in the last, in the last um, paragraph, it says, the cool season of December to February is when many people choose to visit Chiang Mai. February is the famous flower festival. It's held in the whole city. It's lined with flower boxes. It is not to be missed. Okay. Oh, I remember because we're talking about breathtaking. But in Salvador, we have some breathtaking views, no? Yeah. Yes. yes. I like when you go to like maybe a taco, and you see green everywhere. Green, 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 green. It's like, wow, this is beautiful. You know, like when, you, when you're going to a taco and you see the Isalco volcano, I think. And the people you see on the road, it's cool because you see them with cantaros and, and you still see that, you know, people with cows. I like that. That's breathtaking for me. 
What is something breathtaking for you, Ingrid? Well, okay, I know. Okay, we don't ask us para yeah. que... Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no, no. No, well, I have places. Well, the view from the Santa Ana crater, that is one of my favorites. And the Santa Ana volcano crater. Yeah. Okay. The view from there is really amazing. Oh, okay, good. It's, or it's and, really breathtaking. Yeah, and Santo Tomas, I like it. Uh, the panoramic route. It's a really nice view of Willopango Lake. I think I never done that one. That's yeah, that I I recommend that places is really nice, and the view is very. Spectacular because you have another view from Ilopango. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. And you know, that's why that song from Top Gun, the Take My Breath Away. Yes. That's why it doesn't really make sense in Spanish because that expression doesn't exist in Spanish. Just take my breath away, is toma mi aliento. You know, so I tell people in that sense, you don't have you don't have to translate you have to interpret how would you say take my breath away what would that mean the alco test proof <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> take my breath away hey have you ever done that uh, no, um, I don't. Once, only once. Oh. Wait, did I, pass? I passed, right? Yeah, I passed. I think, I <laughs> think that's a lie because one time I did that a long time ago when I was stupid and I would drive drunk. And I think I was drunk and, and I passed. And the police and the ministerio, they stopped me. Like one block from my house. So that, like, I was thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be arrested. I'm going to go to jail. And I asked them, they asked me, have you drunk? And I said, yes, a little, I, because it was my, my in-laws anniversary. So I remember I had like seven tequilas and six beers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, but then I said, well, because I had to continue the party with my friends. That was only a dinner. And then they ask me, how much have you drunk? You know, just normal a beer or two with, with food. Yes, because if you have drunk more than three beers, it will appear on, on the test. Yeah. And I was, oh my God. And um, I think it's five, five, I think it's six or 60, something like that. And it got a six or 60. And, and he told me, have you drunk a little more than that? I drank beer and wine, so I don't know. Well, anyway, so when I blew on that, he looked at it. He says, well, you are okay. And then when I looked, I see a 5.9, which is 5.1. And I was, I think that day, I was the happiest man in the world. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was, I was as a gonna decir, hey, eso no sirve, man, because I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but no, I pass. So, and you know how I celebrated? Drinking water. Yeah, I stopped at a gas station. <laughs> I bought another six pack, and I called my friends. Dude, you can't, you can't imagine what happened. What happened? The police stopped. Hmm. But you know, when when you're when you're a kid, you yeah. do very dumb things. Yeah. All right. So. Let's, what is something breathtaking for you, Ruth? Hi. What? <laughs> Ruth? Um. Are you in, Ruth? <laughs> okay, maybe you are on mute. We can't hear you. Okay, number one, it says Chiang Mai has cheap and expensive places to stay. True or false? Uh, true. 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 It didn't say cheap, but it said it has for every price, right? For, 
Yeah. Uh, Chiang Mai is a small town. True or false? False. False. The area around Chiang Mai is ugly and industrial. False. 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 The Mai Klang waterfalls are from the city. False. false. The flower festival is held during the school season. It's true. true. Good. Yep. We are 2020. Then that's it. That's <laughs> it. We finished four. We finished the yeah. whole four. Yes. Really? Yeah. I thought there was still yeah. one more part. Oh, the no. final test. We don't have that one. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. It is the one we did. Yeah, we finished. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, class, then I'll see you tomorrow. No, I'm joking. It's a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. No, no, no. Um, tomorrow, um, tomorrow we can eat virtual pizza. Or uh, no, no. We can send you our directions, our address. <laughs> What's oh, okay? That's a good point. You know what's the difference between directions and address? Maybe it should be. <laughs> You see, no, but you, you can't say my direction is, is you say my address. Address, address. My direction is direction. Like go straight, turn right, yeah. go left. The way you're in. Mm -hmm. Is that direction. That's a guitar behind you, uh, Gio. What? That's a guitar behind you, correct? Ah, uh, yeah. So you play the guitar. In your band, are you a lead guitarist or the rhythm guitarist? Lead. And You're sometimes the... uh, we do part, the, the, the two parts. And you are the singer, correct? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> how do you do it? Because I know that uh, you sing heavy metal or what? what is the genre you sing? Death metal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you, okay, I, I'm I'm giving an example. Like for example, the uh, the singer from Slipknot. Uh, uh -huh. I watched. He can play three a uh, three hour concert screaming with a mask. With a mask. Yeah. Can he sing the next day the same? Yes. It doesn't affect yes, because it, that, that is a, a technique. Uh, that, that is a technique you are you you do with the diaphragm and and you only use the the throat to modulate. Oh yeah. I always wondered because they say like slipknot, they do like 30 concerts in one month. Oh, man, he has to scream every night. <laughs> yeah. Wow, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Okay. All right, class. Um, so listen, what do you think has given you more problems? Do you have any questions regarding English grammar? How can I be better at this? I, I really don't understand when people say this. Let's do it. Get me right now. Mm, I think we all have trouble with the sentences the um defining and non-defining i think we we all have that uh, okay problem. defining and undefining okay the but, difference but is... I, don't, I don't know if we if we don't understand that or or what the platform make we have dots yeah okay i understand because we already know how to do that that the platform make make us have that doubt? Yes. Okay. Um, well, one thing you have to say, like, remember that undefining 
is yeah. additional information. Yeah. But not essential. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when you're going to give, okay, let's say. Naib Bukele. If you tell somebody of another country who is Naib Bukele, Naib Bukele, who, who is Naib Bukele? Naib Bukele is He's the president. president. Mm -hmm. he, he's the president of El Salvador. Yeah. That's the central information. He is the president yeah. of El Salvador. But if you want to give additional non-essential information, you can say Naib Bukele, who is very young, is the president of El Salvador. Mm -hmm. Naib Bukele, who is a Muslim, is the president of El Salvador. Naib Bukele, who is a, no, Business man. a businessman, mm -hmm. is the president of El Salvador. Yeah, so that's that's the difference between a defining and non-defining clause. But that's good. We can we can practice one of that right now. Like, remember I told you, Messi. What was the example we used for Messi? <clears throat> Messi, who is from Argentina, is the best player in the history of the world. In, in, in the galaxy. Best player of the world, of the universe, <laughs> multi universe. Exactly. Multiverse. And then Andromeda. <laughs> and then, <Right>. yeah. <laughs> okay, so, or you can say the other way around. Uh, Naibu Kelly is the president, who is very young. Messi is the best player in history and he is from Argentina yeah so what the difference it would be the comma now let me see we can do one here Alexander are you there no Rosa hello hi hi let me see Jim Morrison. Who is Jim Morrison? Uh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you just hurt me, Rosa. You don't know Jim Morrison? Mm. Oh, really? The Doors. Ah, okay. Now, yes. The, I the singer. He was very controversial. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give me, give me something essential and non-essential using commas in a sentence with Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison is a very good singer. Um, uh, in this case, it's past. He was. Yeah, he was, okay. Jim Morrison uh, usually, usually take uh, drugs. Usually took drugs. Took drugs. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Give me something essential now. Give me the, the objective okay, that you the want to say. Okay, the that he's a, he's a thinker. Okay, good. So uh, who is Jim Morrison? Jim Morrison, who took who a lot of singer? drugs, was ah, a great okay. singer. Okay. Or Jim Morrison, who was a very good singer. No, it's in the opposite. It's the, the first idea is the, the main information is true. Uh, yes, but everything depends on the comma. So can can you tell me? I, I want I want to hear how you how you do it. Okay, Jim Morrison, who is a very good singer, you eventually took uh, drugs. Okay, good. Yes, uh, but remember one thing: Jim Morrison is dead, so we have to speak fast. Yeah, we can use uh, um, Jim Morrison, who dies. For overdose was who a died. good singer who died who died. Yes. For overdose was a good singer. Yes, who died from an overdose was a good singer. Yes. All right. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Um. Laura. You're Laura. Laura, are you there? Laura, are you there? Yes. Laura, can you tell me about Hitler? Hmm. Hitler was a, a man who lives in Alemania, was a dictator. 
He was a dictator. A but dictator? I, but, but are you giving me one sentence or two? Uh, one. Uh, Hitler, who lived who, in Germany, who lived in Germany, is was a man who killed uh, a German. Uh, how do you say Judeos? Jews? Jews. Who killed? Who killed Jews? Uh, people. Jews. When you say Jews, it's obviously it's people. Okay. It's like when you say he killed evangelists. Obviously it's people. Okay. Yes, yes. Very good. So Hitler, who lived in, in Germany, killed Jews. And you can have more non-essential information. Hitler, who lived in Germany, but was born in Austria, um, was a dictator and killed many Jews. Yeah, okay, very good. Jose. Jose? What? Give me an example, La Llorona. No, La Ciguanaba is the thing. La Llorona. Who is La Ciguanaba? You see, this is, a, this is <laughs> La Llorona. This is, this is a very good way to practice your English because La Ciguanaba, imagine you're speaking with a foreigner. <laughs> uh, what? Yes, sir, La Ciguanaba. Jose, who is La Ciguanaba? I think we lost Jose. Nelson, who is La Ciguanaba? Ciguanaba, uh, uh, who was or is? I don't know, because I, 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 I don't know. La Ciguanaba is, is a myth, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's a myth. So yeah, okay. I think if, if it's a myth, it's always going to be present. Yeah, OK. Uh, La Ciguanaba, who is uh, a woman that appears at midnight to, to men or whatever, whoever, people. Uh, whoever. And, they, uh, and she <laughs> have a, a big... Very big. <laughs> big. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. A big uh, personality. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but I need the clauses. I need the clauses. So La Ciguanaba, who is a Salvadorian myth, mm -hmm. is a woman that appears, she appears to be beautiful, but she's ugly and she has big attributions first time is a beautiful beautiful woman but uh, but then uh, she became become in an ugly monster woman. yeah that's true why why what happened to la Ciguanaba? why is she crazy really i don't i don't I remember it's, 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 it's like the llorona i think yes that she lost his baby. But the Siwanaba is the mother of Cipitio, right? Yeah. So why does she hate men? I don't remember the story, but I don't, I'm not sure she was, um, see if some guy broke her heart <laughs> or she was um, infiel. I don't remember them, the, the word. I could be, yeah. Yeah, so, and it was a, it's a kind of um, maldición or something like curse, that. Uh -huh. Curse, curse. So, yeah. who is the father of El Cipitio? The lover. <laughs> it's not a myth because Cipitio is a myth. Uh, the si father, a myth. There's the no father. 
the hell is that? Who is a cadejo then? Oh no, el cadejo is a dog. Cadejo. Yeah. It's a dog. La mix. Class, we are very poor in Salvadorian culture. Yes. In myths, we're very, very poor. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me see. I'm going to give you get me. Tell me about something. All right, Gio, pass me. Because I, I, want, I want you to get the idea of how to compose because I told somebody who is Hitler. Good, Hitler, but you're giving me two sentences. I want you to give me one sentence. I asked who is La Siwanaba, and you give me two or three sentences. No, I want everything in one sentence. For example, Gio, ask me something, anything. Um, something about Pink Floyd? I don't know. Get me, shoot me. Um, do you know what the story about the, this song called um, Mm. Oh, yeah. Comfortably yeah. numb. Comfortably numb. Yeah, that oh, one. Yeah. But that song, you have to listen to it alone and with your eyes closed. Yeah. When I was no, no, but you tell me, tell me, Sid Barrett. Like, like, like I told you. Okay, just give me one word, and I will make the sentence. Ah, okay. Yes. Like, remember when I said, um, Naib Bukele. Okay. Naib Bukele, okay. who is Pink very Floyd. young, is the president of El Salvador. Okay? Okay. Pink Floyd. Okay. Pink Floyd. Oh, man. You got me because it's a band. <laughs> uh, Pink Floyd, which is a band from England, is one of the best bands in the history of music. Yeah. So yeah. Pink Floyd, which is a band from England, Coma, is one of the best bands in progressive rock, or maybe the best band of progressive rock. Yeah. All right, cool. Thank you. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. Ricardo, I have one for you, Ricardo. Okay. Mota. <laughs> this is not relation about me. <laughs> I, I don't know. That's why explain to me what is mota. Mota is a uh, oh, so, so mota. Yes, which, it is, it's, a fiber, is, it's a it's a fiber. It's a fiber flow in the in the environment uh, from the rat material cotton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a very technical explanation. <laughs> I would have never imagined that, yeah, Mota is a fiber from raw material from cotton. <laughs> very good. <laughs> but no, but what I want you to give me is give me one essential information and one non essential information. Mm. So, Mota, which is a material made from fiber of raw cotton. It's very allergic to some people, no? Because it causes yeah, yes, allergies. Yes, yes, it's true. It causes allergic. a lot of allergies. Okay, good. Okay, that was good. Uh, uh, uh. Ingrid. Hmm. Hi, I was looking information now. See what now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You feel bad that you don't you don't have enough information about Siwa now? No, I I feel ashamed for don't remember our mm -hmm. history. <laughs> yes. Okay, but listen, let's do this simple now. So. The defining and non-defining clauses depends on the essential and non-essential information. And I'm going to use, who is a very famous person in the world right now? Mm. I think would be. Who? Bill 
Gates. Bill Gates. Good. Okay. What I want you to know is that Bill Gates is maybe one of the richest men in the world, right? Yeah. Or Bill Gates. Okay. So I can say this. Bill Gates is one of the richest. <laughs> Bless you. You scare me, Rosa. <laughs> we all. Sorry. <laughs> bless you. Thank you. Do you know what bless you comes from? No, I don't. Yeah. Do you, does anybody know where the word bless you comes from? God bless you. Bless you. Yeah, from God bless you. But the problem was that a long time ago, the catarro is the flu. Yeah, flu. And if you notice, even today, there is no cure for the flu. There are um, prevention medicines, but there is no cure. But in the past, like in the 1800s, there was not even prevention medicine. So many, many people died from the flu. Look at that. So it was funny because when you sneeze or something, they put you in quarantine. And that's why when somebody sneezes, a chew, like, oh, oh man, God bless you. Yeah. Hey, can you know? Take them. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they took you to the, I don't know to the asylum or where the quarantine people were. <laughs> you know, if you survive, you survive. If not, not. But that's why you know it's like you're saying bless you, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Only God, God can save you. Well, it was actually God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. I don't know. God lost got lost somewhere. <laughs> in the 70s or something. Now people just say, bless you. Yeah. Okay, so what did I ask you, Elena? I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. Somebody, because I remember, Elena, you scared me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so remember, you can give, oh, Bill Gates. Yeah. So I can give him I can give one non-essential and one essential information. So if I like, hey, Bill Gates is one of the richest men in the world. Good. Or I can that's say that's the essential. He's one of the, he's one of the richest men in the world. Because that's what I wanted to talk about. Bill Gates is that he's one of the richest men in the world. Pero si digo, okay, I want to give more information that is it's not essential. I can say mm -hmm. Bill Gates, who is from the United States, Puma, is it's one man. of the richest people in the world. Uh, For you, what yeah. is what is more relevant? Don't aprendieron más that. What was more useful? fue más útil a su conocimiento that he's from the United States or that he's one of the richest people in the world? The second one. Second one, yes. Or I could say, um, Bill Gates is one of the richest people in the world. Punto. Or, uh, and he lives in the United States. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Laura, are you there? Yes. Right, how are you, Laura? Fine. All right, Laura. ¿Cómo se llama Superman? Clark Kent. No, 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 no. The, the, <laughs> the, the actor. The actor. The breast Christopher director. Reeve. Christopher Reeve. Yeah, you see, that's, that's real one. men. That's yeah, the real Superman. For for every man is Christopher Reeve, but for the women yeah. right now it's just the ultimo. What's his name? Giovanni. <laughs> David. No, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> no, Kabil, Kabil, what's his name? Kabil, yeah. My wife loves Kabil. him. She says he's a good actor. <laughs> My wife says that he's a very, very good actor. And she actually thinks mm -hmm. I believe her. <laughs> okay, let me check. Jason Mamona Mamona. Momoa. Momoa. Okay, good. Laura, Jason Momoa. Give me something essential and non-essential about him. A, like an actor. Do, do you know do you know Jason Momoa? No, I don't know. Okay. I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. He's my going, kind. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Uh, Jason Momoa, who looks like my teacher, is a very. He's <laughs> <laughs> the actor from Aquaman. Yeah, but I don't have a beard in this moment. But yeah, my mother says I look like him. No. Okay, Laura, then you don't know Jason Mauma. What's it? Moma. He's no. Mauma. <laughs> what? Okay, Laura. Um, Alejandro Sanz. Oh, okay. Yeah, every woman likes Alejandro Sanz. Uh, sentences about non defining. I don't know. Give me one sentence, something relevant, and something defining, and some something essential and not essential about him. Um, okay, Alejandro Sanz is a singer. Uh, was born in Spain. Okay, but don't give me a story about him. Okay, this is what I want you to do. Alejandro Sanz, who is a singer, was born in Spain. Okay. Born in Spain. Or Alejandro Sanz, who was born in Spain, is a famous singer. Ahí depende para usted que más esencial. That he's a singer or he was born in Spain. It depends on you. Who was okay. born? Or in who? Spain. Who was? Yes. But you can't say Alejandro Sanz is a singer. He was born in Spain. He sings pop music. Oh, don't um, give me a description. Give um, me one. Places you can do. Uh, you can use which, right? Uh, like El Salvador, which is a yes. small country, mm -hmm. had one of the best um, cuisine in the world. <laughs> exactly, yes. So in this case, you chose one of the best cuisines in the world as the most essential part about your example. Yeah. And you gave additional information as Salvador, which is of a small country. Yeah. That's one of the best cuisine in, in the world. Good. Okay. Uh, so Laura, give me an example now. Uh, Chocolate Popeye. Do you remember that? Uh, yeah. Um, chocolate Popeye was um, a snack. That, okay. A uh, candy bar. It was actually a candy bar. A, a candy bar that uh, the X genera generation mm -hmm. uh, Grew up with. Grew up with. Very yeah. good. All right. Yeah, that's true. I like that. I like that example. Um, Sandra, Sandra, how old are you? Hi, Sandra. How old are you? Hello. Hi. 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 Who in the class is in their 20s? 
Nobody is in the twenties. Sorry, and me in the second tennis. <laughs> second <one>. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, I, 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 I like a lot of examples. She said, uh, Popeye, which was a candy bar, or, or, or Popeye, which the last generation didn't taste that it was a famous candy bar in El Salvador. But you remember the gloopies? The gloopies, yeah, in that little cup. It yeah, they were like in a bag and they can stretch. Yeah. The gloop. Gloop. <laughs> <laughs> in the names. <laughs> Gloopy, yes. Gloopy. All right, Nelson. Nelson Momoa. Woo! <laughs> 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 no, Nelson. I don't remember the, the name the series. In a uh, in Apple TV. Oh yeah, where yeah. Where that man appear. Well, um, that's good, but Nelson. But I am poor. I don't have Apple TV. <laughs> <laughs> I just have normal cable, you know, and Netflix. <laughs> uh, but in in some some TVs, uh, it's a uh, uh, yeah, it's a uh, available. The app. Oh, okay. In some some TVs, yeah. Okay, but but you know what? Nelson looks a little more like Clark Kent. If he puts on glasses, you look like Clark Kent. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But re remember, class, I told you. Um. Yes, I think we do need to practice this a little more. But the objective here is to say one complete sentence, and say two things about that subject. Okay, now those two things, because you can say, uh, you can say uh, La Ciguanaba is a Salvadoran myth. Yeah, you can. La Ciguanaba is a Salvadoran myth. Yeah, right. So somebody from Puerto Rico, oh, La Ciguanaba is a Salvadoran myth. Sí, pero ¿y qué es? I don't know. I don't know, but did you see those? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, the, the Puerto Rican person can say, I don't know. I just know that Siguanaba is a Salvadorian myth. Oh, okay, good. So you can say, uh, and then you can add additional information, non-essential. La Siguanaba, who is an ugly woman that appears to men, is a Salvadorian myth. Oh, okay. So, you know, now you have a better idea. That's why, mm -hmm. uh, but don't say La Siguanaba, she's a woman. She scares men, she's a myth, and she cries. No, that's giving me a description. What I want you to do is give, give the, um, the sentence. Okay? All right, class, so tomorrow, my, uh, tomorrow we're going to do caliche. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's going to be cool. I'm going to teach you how to s speak slang. Yeah. Hey, what's up? How are they hanging? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm, I'm cool. I'm there. Okay. That's what we're going to do tomorrow. Remember, I will invite you to per virtual pizza and drinks. Okay. okay. So, <laughs> so don't eat dinner. It will be interesting. Yes, virtual pizza, right? <laughs> okay, class. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Okay, Bye. see you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.